And we're back. So, I had a problem with my computer and Windows or something. I wanted to kind of recreate what happened because I've reinstalled everything and ask you guys what maybe might have happened. I don't know. So, if you've been following the videos, you know that I've been using Linux for the past 30 days. The 30 days has passed. So I went back into my Windows machine, which is where I test the GPUs in Fortnite and do other benchmarks and stuff like that. And everything was fine. It's running Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Not a big deal. Works fine. I tried to update it to the newer version of Windows because it's on 21H2, which is a very old version of Windows 11. That install failed. So I just said, forget it. I'll just use the old version. That's fine. 21H2. So I have, I'm just recreating what happened right now. So I have that hard drive that has 100 games on it. They're all cracked or whatever. And it had GTA 5 on it. And I'd never played GTA 5, so I wanted to see what that was like. I was thinking of making a video about me playing it for the first time, which I thought would be very funny. But when I launched it, I, I did launch it before just to see if it would work. And it did work, but it said the, uh, the notification said that it was malicious software. And other people have mentioned that when I posted about these games, they said, well, the, those might be questionable fire, you know, questionable files. But I ran it anyway, and it worked, and then I closed it. And this, this might just be a coincidence. This might not have anything to do with the games, but, you know, I turned off the computer. It was maybe a day, maybe two days passed, no problems. I'd just been using Windows. And then uh, yesterday, I logged into my Windows, which looked like somewhat like this. So I normally had all of my icons here like this. And see how they snap, right? So that, that's, that's how my setup was. And then I saw this folder here that said Robert fix it. And I thought, that's weird. So I clicked on it, and there was a bunch of stuff in there. Now, I typically don't keep things on the desktop anymore. That's an old habit that people used to have. So I did a right-click on it, and I did the properties, and it had like 250 gigs of stuff in there. And I was kind of in a hurry. I was leaving... So I didn't think too much of it. I just thought, well, I'll just delete it and maybe I'll get a lot of space back. So I started, I deleted it. I clicked on delete. And so, it, you know, when you click delete, it starts showing you all the stuff it's deleting. And I'm looking at the files. It's deleting everything. Like, it somehow was attached to my user account. So it was deleting all the stuff in my user account. But it wasn't a shortcut. See, normally there's a shortcut. There's a little arrow right there, right? It wasn't a shortcut, so I thought it was on my desktop. So I said, okay, that's weird. And then it's deleting, it's deleting, it's deleting. All of a sudden, my icons on the desktop started disappearing. And then I went, oh, no, I think it's deleting my, my user account. Uh, it was really strange, so I, I canceled it. So what's going on here? So then I rebooted. When I rebooted, the disk, the background was gone. And then there was not only this folder, but then there was a internet folder. It said internet. <laughs> I don't know. What the, it was, you know, like when you click on network or ethernet or something. There was another icon right here that says internet. 
So I don't know. I just, I freaked out. I said, forget it. I'm just going to erase everything. So I reinstalled Windows. But now we are no longer going to run regular Windows. We are going to run Windows 11 LTSC. So I have three videos about Windows 11 LTSC and that topic was kind of worn out. I didn't want to make any more videos about it because I didn't actually use it. And I didn't use it because I had the Windows 11 that was on that drive that was free. So it, I didn't really have a reason to. I, did, I mean, it worked. Again, this is unsupported hardware. But when I ran into that issue of updating, I thought maybe I should convert to LTSC. And so that's what I did. Because Windows 11 LTSC, as we mentioned many times, is the lightest version of Windows 11 that you can find. That's not some custom mod like Tiny11. This is from Microsoft. It's free. But as you can see here, it only works for 90 days. And so since I had to reinstall Windows 11 anyway, I thought it would be a good opportunity to actually just use it and then let people know if there's any issues using it daily. And it's crazy because, and I showed this before, th there is nothing on here. Look at the apps. <laughs> this, I put Steam on there already and Chrome, but there's nothing. It was so light that it didn't even have OneDrive. I had to install OneDrive myself. There's no Copilot, there's no Recall. Now somebody said that if you update it, you will eventually get Copilot, but that was only one person, so I don't know if that's true or not. So I'll find out. And then on top of that, I wanna find out what happens after the 90 days. So in the previous video, what we did was we changed the date to 90 days later. And this thing in the corner, it said, your evaluation has expired. But I didn't keep using it. So that's why I need to find out what actually happens after. When I changed the date back to the normal date, then it worked again. I mean, it, it, it worked either way, but... When I changed the date back, it, it stopped saying it was expired. So I assume that there will be some sort of fix for this. If you recall, there was a thing called Office, what is it, Microsoft Office 2010 Rearm. So the Office 2010, if you guys remember, you could install it and then it would expire after I think 30 days or was it 60 days? Oh, 30 days. Okay. So after 30 days, you would just rearm it and you could do that three or four times. And then after that was done, then you would just reinstall Office. And that's how you could use Office 2010 for free for a long time. Uh, and I didn't mind doing that back in the day. You just reinstall it every three months. That's fine. So I, th I should have done this before. Because if I had done this before, we would have already been almost two months into the period. But it's okay. Plus, anyway, I think in 90 days, I'll probably have a different computer set up anyway so it doesn't matter but yeah there's there's nothing on here this is the specs of the system this is the equivalent of a I think sixth gen Intel maybe seventh um, the, the regular windows worked fine I, di I didn't mind it but a lot of people have ever since I went to Linux 
a lot of people were complaining about Windows and the spyware and the Copilot and all that stuff. So this version does not have that. It's just, for the most part, it's a shell. And for gaming test bench purposes, a nice clean shell is ideal. And we'll just get rid of that. I guess I can't run the GTA software. I don't know, man. That was I should have went offline before I did that. But let me know what you think. I'm I don't know. Is was it a virus or did I just screw something up? It's really weird. The only thing is you still have edge. Let's see. I actually closed edge. Let's see if it's still running. Because on the old system, if I would close Edge and end the task, it would come back by itself. So it's not there. Interesting. And then once again, we'll just cover, if you didn't watch the other videos, what is Windows 11 LTSC? So it's the, what was that? Long-term service channel. It's a Windows that's designed to be good for 10 years. There's still no actual, there's no, we don't know how much it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be $300. The Windows 10 LTSC is $300. You can find a key for it for $200. And so I, I assume that Windows 11 will be around $300. And it, it, this is not for people to use. This is not for a consumer. This is for a company that will put a computer into place and they want to make sure that it never updates, never goes down and never expires for years and years and years and years. So if you're thinking that $300 is too much, it's not, you know, if it's a hospital or something, that's like a day for them. So not a big deal. And actually when I first found Windows 11 LTSC, I didn't know that there was a Windows 10 LTSC. So you can still install Windows 10 LTSC. If you can find a key for it, you will get updates until 2027. So, I don't know. That's up to you. <laughs> I haven't used Windows 10 in so long, I forgot what it's like. I think I'm on, what am I on, like more than 60 days of n never using Windows 10. But this is fine. Um, so that's going to be my new setup. I don't know if it was a hack or it's malware or something. And this will be my new test bench setup. So... Let me know what you think about LTSC. Should you run it or should you not? Should you run Windows 10 until it dies? Let me know. We'll see you soon and thank you for watching.